Now, you might not think a heritage railway is the best place to find a project that's at the cutting edge of technology, but you'd be wrong and you'd be missing out on something very exciting. Here at the diesel depot in Kidderminster, work is underway to create a truly unique locomotive for the future. This is something new to us. Um, it's all to do with our carbon reduction plan. Um, we're looking at converting a diesel shunter into a hydrogen powered shunter, which is very exciting for us and a, a new innovation. The University of Birmingham approached us about this project and we thought it was an excellent idea and a, a really practical way of using a loco that we had on the site but had not used for many years. It had been sat under some tarpaulin for 15 years. So it's a way of us upcycling that diesel shunter and, and making it into a hydrogen powered machine which would be fantastic for us from an environmental point of view. The reason the University of Birmingham is interested uh, in dealing with the Heritage Railway is because it gives us a chance to adapt our hydrogen technology, which is very new, to a very different context. Certainly nobody in the UK has ever done a shunter before um, and it's a very interesting opportunity to combine uh, cutting-edge hydrogen hybrid technology with old-fashioned traction technology such as you'd find in the Class 08 behind us. When I was an undergraduate, I worked on a locomotive for the IMEC E Railway Challenge. Uh, that was a little 10 and a quarter inch gauge locomotive. Uh, and the year later, I got a call from my, my now boss, Charles, and asked me whether I'd like to work on something bigger. And we did Hydroflex. We converted a Class 319 electric multiple unit to work on hydrogen. We installed equipment in one of the coaches to feed the existing electric traction system. And we gained a lot of experience there. We dealt with hydrogen systems before, but adapting it to a railway context, uh, there were a lot of challenges involved in that. And this will build on that experience. The idea behind the Harrier project is to replace the diesel engine as completely as possible. And what I mean by that is there should be no difference as far as the driver is concerned. All of it will be contained within our hydrogen hybrid drive system. So it will feel the same, it will sound a lot quieter. The only difference will be when you peel back the body side doors to have a look at the power plant, it'll be completely different. Heritage Rail is a very exciting place to work. Firstly, because we have access to locomotives, whereas a, an operator on the main line, for example, might need that for something else. It's, it's one of the, the challenges we've had to overcome. Uh, and secondly, it's that experience and expertise that we couldn't necessarily get on the main line. There have been people here who have been working with these things for decades, and it's the ideal partner for the university. The guys in the diesel depot have been really supportive of it. They're really excited about being able to use their knowledge of how the diesel shunter works to inform the team from Birmingham University and work together to come up with a solution that will work for the hydrogen powered shunter. It's, it's working as a team using their knowledge and experience over years and years um, to inform the new uh, development. It's really exciting. We've got some youngsters working with us today. Um, makes you feel old when you <laughs> see them around because you, see, you, you know they are quite young. But they have been with us since their early teens. They worked with, in the junior club and they're now apprentices on the main railway. And they've come back to help us at weekends to move projects like this forward. So they're all working together in a team. They've all got their own responsibilities and they are doing a fantastic job. Well, there's five of us. We were, we've all been here about 14, 15 since we could start. And we've all known each other, we're all really great friends. We have been asked to take the doors off, the radiator, the roof sections, and to take all the parts off the engine so hopefully soon we can get the engine lifted out and the Birmingham University crew can just jump on it and do their, what they need to do. This loco has been standing outside for a long time, so there's been a few problems, all rust and stuff in the bolts, so they're quite stiff. We've had quite a few issues using a lot of WD-40 to uh, uh, loosen some of the bolts out, but we're, we're getting there slowly. One of the jobs we've been doing today was the auxiliary generator, which just sits on top of the main generator. To start that, we took out a piece of the wall that was uh, between the engine and the generator compartment. We then took out the auxiliary generator, just lifted that out, placed it on a pallet, and then uh, got that job done for the morning. We're going to start now working on the radiator to take some connections off. It makes us feel proud that the fact that we are trusted to do this because when I started about three years ago I wouldn't have thought they'd turn around and say here's an 08, go and strip it down for us. It's, it's a massive responsibility but it, it, may, it just shows how, how you can develop yourself in, on the Seven Valley Railway. Not only is it a really good opportunity for us to learn 
it's just a good opportunity for us to have practice working in the team. We've practiced doing team leaders every week, so we've all had a go at rotating through. Uh, and, I, you know, it's been a good experience for us. Seeing the team working on the Class 08 um, today has been absolutely fantastic. Just the, the get up and go and the enthusiasm that they've got for this project. I, I'm really pleased with, with the way things are coming together. This is going to be much, much better than a diesel. Hydrogen can be produced by electrolysis, um, which is the process of splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen. And we can do that with renewable electricity, making the whole, the whole thing completely sustainable. But even if we were to get hydrogen from other sources, we're still producing no emissions at the point of use. Whereas with a diesel engine, no matter where you get the diesel from, you always have those emissions at the point of use. We're a heritage railway, but we need to look for the future. And it's not good for us to ignore the fact that things are moving on in society. People are, are looking at the use of carbon um, in the world and we ought to be thinking about how to move on as well. And I think being part of that cutting edge technology, it, it, it's not a problem for a heritage railway to do that. It's absolutely in keeping with what we are about because we want to be able to um, keep the heritage railway running, but on the back of house areas that we can use some new technology that would be the sensible way forward for our future carbon reduction plan. When this goes out on the line and the project's finished, it's going to be brilliant because we're effectively looking at what is the future rolling along the rails and it'd be nice to turn around and say, you know, I did a bit on that. And same with the rest of the team, we're really looking forward to that because this could lead on to many other locomotives being converted to hydrogen and just pioneering the future. And it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be a very proud moment for not just us, but the whole railway. As the project progresses, the SVR's team will be working closely with the engineers from the University of Birmingham. And later this year, the Harrier Hydro Shunter will be tested here on the SVR. Keep tuned to YouTube and we'll keep you updated every step of the way.